I'm JW Bow, welcoming you to Cave Mind, the lucky rabbit's foot of conversation between myself and, increasingly, the only other person who let me talk with them, Arthur Wap Caplet. In this session, I've taken an agenda of questions around to provoke Arthur with. I don't attack him with the questions, but some of them are pretty intense. Luckily, Arthur had had his vitamins beforehand. Now, I should say, all opinions do not represent either party in a legal sense of the word, but I do hope you enjoy them anyway. Any inquiries should be directed to SeriousBiscuits.com or else head over to Facebook super slash Serious Biscuits or something like that. Anyway, have fun. You're welcome. Hello. Tim's there, look. Getting around there. Oh, technically, can I, um... Ah, don't worry. Yeah? Yes, yeah, coffee again. Yeah. Quite a lot. <coughs> all right. That's going to make all the difference, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to go for a wee now. Leave you alone with it. How is it recording? Yeah, 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 you've got to be nice to it. Yeah, do you want me to bring another beer uh, yeah, yeah, it's a thing, thank you, yeah, thank you. Beer's good. And, uh, yeah, good and I had some herbal tea earlier, which was very nice. Actually, it's not nice at all. It was orange herbal tea. It's disgusting. But it has sorted my rickets out. So I'm going to have another cup tomorrow. I've left that window open so I'm going to clap it. Right. It's been weather today started off in the morning and carried on up to lunchtime uh, still going on there hello hello I was just Hi. saying that it's been non-stop weather all day today yeah oh god from, yeah from constantly when I woke up this yeah. morning yeah I noticed that when I woke up it was, there was weather and then it never takes a break, does it? Yeah. It's like immigrant labour. Yeah. It's always on the case. It is. Um, I'm on the case. I'm climbing in. Oh, oh, shall I get the agenda? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agenda. That does sound like it could be a Range Rover model, you know? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know how to spell it, so... Um, oh, right. Range Rover agenda. Unfortunately. Agenda? That's even better. We ended up with an agenda. Which is like a red agenda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's way better, isn't it? <laughs> so take your pick, mate. Unless, I mean, you don't have to jump to that. But either, if you've got anything else you need to get off your chest, that's been going on this week. Uh, if hedgehogs Yeah, your name fly. called out at mm. any restaurants recently? Embarrassing waitresses? You have to call out our whack no, cat? No, I haven't, I, don't, I haven't been out for a while, mate. Oh. No. Oh, They're okay. going to let me out. Well, I've been They're going to let bit. me out again after June mm-hmm. for a month. Mm-hmm. See how that goes. Have they told you when June is? No. 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 They no, keep things no, like that from me. Yeah, I, yeah, I would have figured that. But, um, when when they do let me out, I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to go and uh, go to a restaurant. I think. Mhm. Yeah. Supervised. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, they'll they'll, yeah. they'll set something up. There's always programs for that now, isn't there? Rehabilitated. Yeah. We'll yeah. Rehabilitate art. We're not sure into what, but we're welded into something. I did meet Give him abilities. I met a fella the other night. Um, I was walking back from a library. And uh, a man started asking me questions. And um, asked if he, if he could saw my tag off. Your little tag? Yeah. 
I said, you can have a go, mate. Yeah, no go. one else has managed. No, couldn't do it. Just, no, he just, couldn't have. Just didn't want. I'm surprised. Yeah, well, yeah, well I'm. He had a. No, he had a, a, no one's tried to do a, that for years, have they? No, he had a very wide neck, so I thought he might be in with a chance. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, but no. Yeah, okay, you want. Oh, yeah. Da da da. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, did he. Uh, when they used to be cues. Yeah. They used to queue up to do it, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. yeah. Used to be good. Memory's short. Good at the learner, that one. Yeah, no, no. Well, uh, yeah. Um, right, yeah. Th- things I wouldn't do in a restaurant. What wouldn't you do? Where's I that? wouldn't ask for anything with beetroot because I wouldn't want to subject anyone to having to deal with uh, beetroot juice. Mm. I had an episode with beetroot juice Did you? this week. Mm-hmm. All over the kitchen floor. Yeah. I... <sighs> What is it? Does it expand when it gets out of the fridge? Is mm. there something in the vacuum of the fridge that keeps beetroot juice contained in a bowl, stable? And then you open the door. Oh, maybe I fancy some beetroot. Get it out. Boom! <coughs> beetroot juice is just everywhere, sticking to everything. It's one of the fastest flowing substances on it, earth. Incredible. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it spreads itself very thinly. Yeah. A bit like. Um, poison from one of those um, really poisonous things. Yeah. A tiny little bit of it goes a really long way. Yeah, the, the beetroot poison. Yeah. Yeah, with the juice. One, one. You don't. Is that really have... poison juice? Uh, with beetroot? Is that a Mossad thing? No. No, no, well, no, 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 no. They wouldn't they, poison they, their they, own, would no, they? No, they wouldn't. Well, well, maybe they would. I don't know. I've not heard of poisoning juice with beetroot. But there's no controlling beetroot juice. Yeah. I wouldn't subject someone to that yeah. at a restaurant. What do they poison Arabs with? Mm, Darts? Know. Low interest rates? Ooh. Yeah. Maybe. Pictures of uh, semi-naked animals? Pour chlorine in the water supply? Mm. The usual way? Plaster of Paris? Yeah. Uh, I mean, all these are water supply. There's off the top of my head, crazy foam. Put crazy foam in the water system. That would fuck them up, wouldn't that it? Would. Yeah. Well, same yeah. as anyone. I mean, yeah. I, you know, you, you know, neither of us have got a problem with any race, but no. you can knock them off the same way as any of the but rest. Everyone's of them. They all, everyone bleeds red, and everyone expands with crazy foam inside of them until they pop. Mm. Yeah, They're probably that way. Good idea. Hmm. I found out. One of the last times we spoke, and I said I was going down to get some. I was going down to record my uncle. Oh yeah. He'd just come out of. Uh, he hadn't been in the hospital, but he'd been in. The, he'd had a fall. and been in a little um, care situation, and they're, they're they're done with caring now, so he's back at home. They don't uh, care anymore. No, no, they're done with that, mate. Right. No, and he, 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 he was alright. He was okay. He was oh poor guy. He was sort of. Five weeks away. He's not, you know, he's not a hospital guy. Five Did weeks you go to see? Yeah, yeah, I went down overnight. Yeah, oh, went down overnight, and uh, there were a few other people around, so I couldn't couldn't do all the recording that I wanted to do. Mm. But in general chat, I did find out that um, you know, with uh, with boats, they often fill the bilge with foam, anything to give it extra buoyancy down there. Mm. And he just, um, you know, the little styrofoam balls. Yeah, the little fellas. Yeah, he just filled it his, 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 with, with styrofoam balls. Okay. And he said it, conceptually, he said it, it, it worked as a as a method of buoyancy. So they, but did, it they also to got, float to the surface of the water, don't well, they? Well, no, they, after time in the water, because they're very, very small and the water gets all over them, oh, they, sink. they sort of go all effervescent and... Right. And, well, they don't go effervescent. They go all heavy, <laughs> turn to sludge, right. and they get into the into the bilge pumps, pumps. and they cause a problem. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's 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 it's, it's never easy when so, you're doing stuff that's life and death, like putting a boat at sea. Yeah. Even more than with a car, you can't you can't muck around. You have to know. I don't, I don't know if this is news to you, Art. But, you might have done, you know, know more building. about the boat building trade than I do. I know you can't. You cut can corners. confirm what I'm going to say. No corner cutting. No, you can't, can you? No rounded edges. No, all the way around. and you, yeah, you have to know all about the trade. Uh, you're going. You're going to find Very, out about building boats. Yeah, 
before you try and build a boat. I reckon it's harder to build a boat than to pretend you, for the first time you can play guitar in front of a a, a, a two hundred strong yeah. rock crowd. It's it's incredibly skilled work, and you shouldn't undertake it unless you are qualified with thought, years of experience. Hollowing out a, a tree would be quite easy. I mean, that's a canoe, but that's not that's not the same. It's not. No, it's no. not the Atlantic current, is it? Me, you could make. I could. I wonder if I could make a boat out of canoes. Mm. Instead of planks, use canoes. Proven buoyancy. You I'd have like an air, an aircraft carrier size ship yeah. if I wanted out of canoes, couldn't I? Could work very well. You could get the. Um, we, 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 you get what do they call it? Uh, the scale thing you get. I was just going to say you can get positive scaling, don't you? Yeah, but well, you can buy little magazines from the from the sixties. That show you how to make big ships out of um, matchsticks. Okay. Why well, just do it all scale it up? Just use canoes instead of matchsticks. Or matchsticks instead of canoes. So you'd end up with because they're all probably wet. end they're up with a ship. Off. You might end up with a ship about a mile long, which would be ideal, wouldn't oh, it? Yeah. For carrying it really long yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, like carry? Saxons. Were they long? Oh, they were, yeah, they were quite long. Yeah. No, they weren't around that long, were they? Just yeah. had time to settle. Yeah. <laughs> getting on getting on a well. Boom, in comes spirituality. Nah, go away, what right, we go away. Oh, no, we decided to come back again, and we're staying this time. Oh, all right, then. That's the end of the Saxons, isn't it? I don't know, that's probably not doing it justice. It's mm. probably not accurate, but... They were around for, for, for a while, weren't they? Hundreds of years, yeah. 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 I always liked the Huguenauts. I thought they sounded really cool. In the 80s? Were they an 80s band? Were they? Bill Giles and the Huguenauts. The Huguenauts, yeah. yeah. Came over from the Baltics. So down, didn't they? On elephants. Yeah, on, on their elephants. Yeah. I was... Um, oh, can I, get, <laughs> can I go back to the agenda? Yes. Um, parsnips. Parsnips. Yeah, 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 you can. Yeah, yeah, parsnips. Didn't the Irish know who, how, yeah, how to grow them? <laughs> yeah, didn't they? I don't know. I was just why? Wondering. Yeah, why? Instead why don't they grow the parsnip them? instead? <coughs> Maybe they don't. I don't like parsnips. Maybe that's why. Ooh, no, too sweet. Just too. Um, no, I like sugar. Yeah. If they were sugary, I'd like them. Yeah, are they? Are they? Yeah, you yeah, find them sweet? Yeah, they? yeah, really sugary. Yeah. Mind you, if mushrooms were sugary, I wouldn't like those either. Mm, if they still mm-hmm. tasted like mushrooms. Mm. Well, wow. are mushrooms sugary? Yeah, they are. Chuck a load of sugar on them, aren't they? I'd imagine. Yeah, it's nice. Is it? Yeah, I don't want to. Ju- I don't want to jump because. Is this in I order? feel like there's more about parsnips to know. I think there's probably more about you know parsnips and. Obviously. But you've got a point. Why? Why all the? Um, why did the world end when potatoes suddenly weren't around in Ireland? Why did they go, oh no, we're going to starve to death, all the potatoes have gone. Why I, didn't, they, why didn't someone just say, well, go and fucking parsnip then? Yeah, stick a parsnip. Haven't got that's another variety point. of potato? They didn't, didn't they? They were just growing one type of potato. Yeah, that's a good idea. The Indians have five or six different types of potato growing, didn't they? I don't think I would have been intelligent enough to realise that I could have grown another crop. I would have been like all the Irish people. I would have said... Yeah, well, I uh, yeah, fair dues. You're going to break it down to I'm reality. Not, I'll be as dead as you. But I'm, I'm not very intelligent when it comes to farming and parsnips well, and I, potatoes. I mean, a couple of hundred years ago, didn't they? weren't they watching documentaries about how the Indians grew different types of potatoes so if, to get around farming? Were they not doing that? Did they do that in India? Were they not watching YouTube back in the day when they had their farming? I don't know. Come on, Art. I mean... I don't want to have a go, but if you're not going to get on YouTube, um, there will be a famine. There were answers available, weren't there? And they didn't look Probably very well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Someone should have said uh, a picture. Hashtag the picture. My um, potato's gone down, but they never did. And there you go. But what? on the sugar front, mm. have we done parsnips? Covered that? What, with? Generally? I'm not. Yeah, f- cover them with sugar. Them with sugar. Like the Danish would. I've been learning about Danish food. All right. For for the new novel. Yeah. Oh God, it's been 
I've been quite excited. Right. Quite. Really? Yeah. God, yeah. Right, God. We've got some good You stuff know, sometimes there. you just see a bit of video of something coming out of an oven and you just get a... a, a oh, God. Ugh. Yeah. And some well, of the it, Danish pastry stuff. Pastry involved in it's, it. It's pastry, but even their um, savouries are just loads of butter, loads of sugar. They sweeten loads. They really... Yeah. The whole thing about Danish coziness yeah. and being cosy... That's not a lie, is it? They're well... Oh, my God. I like the way the Danes cook food. They do things nice. They do not they? mess around. First yeah. thing, loads of butter. Is it? Yeah, tons of butter. Then look, often mm. often sugar. Do these little sweet potatoes, little baby boiled potatoes. Mm. And then they make this caramelised oniony, um, little bit salty uh, kind of topping for them. They chuck the potatoes in with loads more sugar on top and it all... Super caramelised. Right, oh my god! Really? And I Goodness. thought, I mean, I, I probably said it. We should go I'd to probably, Denmark. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah. Was it Martin McGuinness from Denmark? I, I don't know. He did liked he, his did he look like he'd eaten well? He looked. He liked his pastry. Well, then he was from Denmark. He always had oh, jam. Oh, he needed to get there. He had jam on his cheeks. Mm, less, less good for me, but equally interesting is the marzipan. There was, Danish. There was, yeah, there was. They were at, They did. Um, they did the savoury stuff. Mm. And I was watching those savoury recipes and then just go through the breads, brilliant breads, and then get onto the sweet stuff. Mm. And we were talking to a guy who was a um, patisserie, and um, he was sort of heir to loads of different patisseries. <laughs> and <laughs> and he no, uh, uh, honestly, uh, he was he was out the back in his sort of butcher's yard where, they, where right. he was doing his marzipan and this way he said they've got this great slab of marzipan like a um um you know the other bit they chuck on a on a on a grave apart from the body in the casket they put an earth on it they chuck the earth on and then that bit that comes after that headstone headstone yeah, yeah. like Long a line. head large headstone right. of marzipan but lying, lying down. Lying down in a rigor mortis. And, the, and this, this woman who was doing this, this show about Danish cooking, she said, how, how big a slab do you buy that in? I thought, for a start, I thought, brilliant, trade questions on a documentary, mm. genuinely good questions. Not, ooh, that's marzipan. Like, how, how much of that do you get in at a go, mate? Yeah, yeah, can I, go, job, can I get it? mates rates on the next one? I thought, is yeah. it a proper documentary? Yeah. Uh, um, and he said, the fella said, I buy it in 500 kilo slabs. Right. It does me about nine, six to nine months, a, a, a slab of it. I thought, that's hard. How long does it keep? It. About two months? And no months, like right. a year or more, because it's so right. sugary, isn't it? And yeah. nuts. Is it almonds? In? Yeah. Fucking almonds. Yeah. yeah. But it looked impressive. And all the, <coughs> oh my God, all the little details. I mean, I like a Danish pastry anyway, mm. but I suspect you can carve. Sainsbury's is, is only... Can you carve marzipan? Yeah, 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 because yeah, 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 it comes in solid slab. Right, I reckon Cakes. you could do sculptures, edible yeah, sculptures. I think they do, don't they? Mm. Well, someone does. Mm. Yeah, I bet the Dutch would do. And you know what sculpture that would be? Cock. No, that's Holland, isn't it? Now <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, they do a tulip, wouldn't they? Would they? Yeah. The Dutch? Yeah, quite, because tulips do look edible. Are we were talking t- Dutch or Holland, though? No, or we are. Uh, uh, Danish. We could be hovering around a, 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 a Danish man doing marzipan uh, tulips on a, on a street corner. Because the tulips look edible, look really fresh, don't they? Look like yeah. a cucumber or something. Have you ever seen a, a Danish person bleed? Do they do they bleed the same as uh-huh. other people? You think? I tell you what, if, if they're not bleeding blood, the only thing they're bleeding is butter. Really? And good on them. <laughs> yeah, the, so much butter. I, I, I think they, they, this thing that I was watching, eating each other. Yeah, she she was a chef. This lady did, and she was watching the way they cook, and she was like constantly like, "Wow, that's an amazing amount of butter to put in." Yeah. Mind you, that's where your uh, your mother does rather well, isn't it? With her mm. yes. butter, you can't. You got to have hardcore ingredients, haven't you? Yeah, butter's great though. I'm uh, Lurpak. That's Danish, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Don't necessarily recommend that. No. I think that's not probably better, Kerrygold's that's the best, isn't it? That's Irish again. So, see, so they sort of their butter out. The less homogenised butter, lovely. I really like Lurpak. Yeah. Mm, not so good with the potatoes. So, 
When we're talking brands, I like Ferraris. Oh. Yeah. If for any reason this stays in the edit, because we're so massively popular now, they're going to start talking like things about us. I like Ferraris. Yeah, what do I like? Actually, I don't like to sell it, but... Yeah. They stop you now. Do they? New Ferraris are so valuable. We strip it for parts. Yes, that's what we'll do. Take it down yeah. scrappy. Ooh. Buy a new Ferrari, take it down Welsh Bull scrappy. Yeah. What do I get for this? Swap you for that. Yeah. Thing in the corner. Well, tell him it's that's not real, mate. We just we we did this. Yeah. We knocked it up as he's <laughs> as he's slabbering again his checkbook out. I'll give you a grand for it, Maybe mate. I I don't want to take it off you. I, 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 you yeah. know it's. Don't get. It's got pedals on the inside. You're all right if you like marzipan. Yeah. Put it that way. Oh, it would work. Mm -hmm. It would last Can a year. Can you make a marzipan Ferrari? We could form for a year. If they didn't take it apart, I reckon after a year, marzipan starts coming up. Like, even then, their statutory rights are out the fucking window, aren't they? It's you know, Ferrari. Now the man you sold your marzipan Ferrari to. Oh, I see, yeah. Sorry. I've had loads of coffee. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really sorry. I, yeah. I, do you want some herbal tea? He, 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 even in saying sorry, it's more like, I can't, I'm going to carry on, I can't, <laughs> I'm not going to make any sense tonight whatsoever. Yeah. So Denmark, unfold my leg. really, really amazing on food. Yeah. You see. Yeah. Need a Danish takeaway. What does it say underneath? All star food. What's the next bit? All star food, rally final. I got carried away. That's the coffee again. Is it? Oh, is that rally, a food rally? Yeah, or, or yeah a, you see what I've done? Rally? I've, I've used the board, but um, the trouble I have with is not when I don't use permanent markers, I'm quite all over the, my writing, so I scribble half of it out as I'm writing the next bit and I have to go back. Right. And that's the result of a lot of going over. Okay. But, um, yeah. I'll show you a picture. Were you uh, where? Like a flying hedgehog. Can you see him, look? Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Do you see the question? Yeah, no. If hedgehogs could fly, would we still look after them? Put them in cages. <laughs> uh, yeah, good question. It is good, yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you um, reckon? If hedgehogs could fly. If hedgehogs could fly. Can I leave you with that while I nip out just for a second? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, I, are you qualified to I answer have that? A I don't know. Who, who is? Well, would you have a go? I'll have a go. Maybe it's like philosophy. I'll give it some thought and then I'll yeah, answer it. Yeah, give it some thought. Okay. Yeah, have a look at the little picture. If hedgehogs could fly... I don't know, I just, he looks there. like he's loving it, doesn't he? He does. Mind you, I probably wouldn't want to base my answer on your your drawing of a flying hedgehog. If it's a very serious question, isn't it, would we look after them? Um, I wouldn't want to give the wrong answer. Could be a lot lying on this if hedgehogs start flying soon. Well, if evolution really happens, then, God. yeah, it's on. You could get anything. I wouldn't want to start mistreating my hedgehogs. No, well, no. You, I mean, you wouldn't want to anyway, Art. That's not how you... I, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't... Uh, how do you make a hedgehog fly? I'm going to try and train my hedgehogs to fly. OK. I've got cliffs. OK. Can I leave you with that just for a second and yeah. just nip out and, uh, okay. and then come back? You don't have to... You can just think about it. I think want. I've got the answer. OK. Alright, well, I'll. I'll uh, yeah. Alright, I'll, right. I'll, I'll think about it some more and then I'll give you the answer when okay. I'm Yeah. Well, then I'll give him the answer now if you like, just while I'm out. Yeah, okay. With, yeah. Think about the second part. <laughs> Assuming we'd always look after hedgehogs, but the answer would be yes. Going back to the first part of the question, if hedgehogs could fly, would we still look after him? Yes. Yep. Um, no, but you, you, we've got facilities here to enable hedgehogs to fly. Um, so we probably ought to make the most of them. I think. Really, really good facilities. Not council funded or anything, but uh, yeah, all we need is some harnesses. Harnesses and my mum's glue gun, and we're laughing. They're surprisingly resilient hedgehogs and quite springy. 
you're getting the right way up. And with the right harness, I think we could be onto something here, John. And um, I suppose if they could fly, um, we wouldn't need to look after them because they can fly. But if they can normally fly and for some reason can't fly at the moment because either they've broken a wing or um, they've had too much to eat and they're being sick or something, um, then I'd look after it anyway. I'd, I'd either mend its wing or give it a bucket. So there's your answer. Sorted. Oh, brilliant. I've, I've, that was I think I've, I've, I've finding out what that was. More than answered your question, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Superb. Very nice. <clears throat> I mean, I, no. I want to talk about, uh, I want to talk about motorbikes past <laughs> this weekend, but no, I won't do oh. that. Uh, instead, is the yard greater than the metre? Whose yard? Whose yard? Ah. Is the yard greater than the metre? Ah. I see what you mean. I did. I, uh, my my mum's brother. If you years ago, he always used to say the yard is greater than the meter in all regards but length. Ah, okay. Is he a colonialist? Yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. He lives in the uh, Sardinia. Does he? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah he then, reads it? reads uh, growing up newspapers rolled up Does he? under his arm. Yeah, but he's a superstar. He's, yeah, he's been a madman. He's Does he got a hat. Uh, yeah, 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 but he's so much more than that. He's so really? much more lively and interesting than that. But yeah, I've no, I've got him pictured. Yeah, but I think there's your answer that if you're a, <coughs> colo a colonialist, yeah, the yard is a lot greater than the meter. I think that's the best answer I've ever had to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people generally just tell me generally just say fuck off, John. <laughs> That, that's that's, well, that's, the, that's the public for you. Acid jazz. You're in, mm. I I I wrote that as like I listened to both. Listened to some acid jazz. Okay. Yeah, what kind of acid in. jazz? Um, How far out? Uh, uh, but, but yeah, instrumental only. The more hardcore, no singing. I don't understand the concept of acid jazz. To me, that makes it it makes it sound like jazz was. Completely uniform before they introduced acid to it, and then it's sort of, it. and then it started going all over the place. Yeah. You know, I don't know I how you could make jazz label, any, any more erratic than it was before. How, does it does does acid jazz implies that people are playing jazz while they're on acid? I guess. Which means they're not playing very well. I would I would think. Well, I, I, that mean, how can you make it any more disconnected than it already was? Um, jazz, jazz is pretty disconnected, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Isn't it? It's off, it's, it's I always find that it's the musicians well, trying their hardest to, to work fair, out. They're not. They're, they're, yeah, you're right. You've deconstructed that, and it's stupid. I don't understand. It's not jazz. accurate, and the word fusion already existed, didn't it? And it's all fusion, isn't it? Yeah, it's jazz funk. Oh my, oh That's better. Way funk, better. Funk, 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 yeah. yeah. Fusion was a good word, wasn't it? Mm. Oh, it's a better word. Yeah, acid, I thought acid jazz was more evocative, and yeah. you haven't let me down. No. I love getting you a bit angry, huh? Yeah. yeah. And, and what, genres. What is that? Nothing gets you more wild than uh, a oh. poorly labelled genre, Oh, does it? I hate them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but it was, it was instrumental. Who was? Fusion. It was... Uh, he, fusion uh, was instrumental. No, the acid jazz mm. that I was listening to was nice instrumental. Ah, fusion. okay, right. Good, or heavy on the flute, just like I like it. Yeah, yeah. real heavy on the flute. Flutey stuff. Borderline um, uh, elevator music. Yeah. Yeah, again, just like I like it. Just like when you first played Stuff to me. Yeah. And I, I, I guess you knew, you really wouldn't have done... I think John will like this, but I don't think you had any idea how much you'd bored into. Uh, right. It's like one of the. It's like I didn't know that. God, I didn't know they were going on doing that. I love yeah. and I. Well, yeah. As you know, I'm completely freaked. No, it's weird, isn't it? And 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 it was going on in the seventies. 
Well, it's been hidden so well. Yeah, well, they just relabeled it in the 90s, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it sort of never really went away. Yeah. But then they'd found this new term. Oh, stuff I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, stuff, oh, yeah. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. I think a lot of the best musicians are also really good on stilts. Mm. Um, for some reason. It's quite a good instrument. I don't know. That's, that, uh, it's not that technical, though, is it? Just I don't know. Maybe it's stilt, from though. having to... It's It's been... Um, Probably being working class and having to paint your own ceilings, do you think? With the, well, that's how I always... With the stilts? Mm. Why else would musicians be good on stilts? Um, well, other than mm. needing to paint their own roofs. Maybe, maybe uh, painting these musical instruments is not as difficult as it looks. Yeah. Maybe I've been... Um, uh, too generous with my price. Oh, Maybe it's really easy. Unnecessarily daunted. Uh, mm. Yeah. I mm. mastered the triangle, and maybe the the fiddles mm, no more difficult. You did that completely without stilts. Uh, the triangle. Yeah. 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 No. No. No uh, tuition. Wow. And I can't read music, but yeah. um. And yeah. Did I you got do it sitting down? Uh, no, to begin with, I just thought, yeah, you know, just pure arrogance. I know, I know how to do this. Yeah. It's a triangle and a stick. Were you learning alone? I, I can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't want to, just in case, I thought, I don't want to embarrass myself in case it sounds bad. That must have been really I'll hard. practice on my own. Without anyone to copy. Well, for yes, yeah, so just about, imagine someone about six there. months, I was just in my room, just oh, a bit of music on, okay, we're going to get to a break and you know, whack it and thought, oh, yeah, no, no, I've, I've really, I've really got this. And did you, could, didn't you have to visualise someone standing there doing it to copy? No, I just went on instinct. I thought, there's no oh, one around. I couldn't I'll do that. I'll just go on instinct, even if it goes wrong. Even on my own, I couldn't matter. do that. Uh, but I think after a few months, I, I really, I really, I really got my head around it. Yeah. I think it's just, it's not ding. No. But that's how it starts out in the end. But after, like, months and months of it, you begin to go really like, ding, that, that's what you're after. Yeah. Um, a much... Uh, I went through like a sort of a progressive phase mm. of just sticking the bit of wood inside it and just going... Ding, 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 and that, that, that was sort of all right, but it was too far, mm. uh, too far out. Oh, There's my. a reason why uh, Genesis didn't, didn't do that. No, <laughs> did they bin that one? I don't know. No I don't know. probably never even bothered with it. Mm. But ding. Yeah. And I'm there. Yeah. But yeah. I thought... You probably well, mastered that it. Took, that, that took months, I think. You should film. have taken it further. I put it down. I don't... Like, I got rusty with it now. The I living room, perhaps, or... Oh, yeah. Or maybe even towards the the garden. Imagine imagine if you'd taken it in the garden. <clears throat> and given it some... I don't like to attract a crowd. Well... Because I, I don't know how good I am. You can always do it with your door keeping, with your foot keeping the door open in case it gets a bit manic and you have to dart back in. Yeah, just play for myself a just, bit. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't been. I'll have to bring it down when you're playing your guitar, and I'll I'll do. A, we'll do a little test. I'll do a little recording. Yeah. Because I don't know. I might be rubbish, but I I I, I might be absolutely. Uh, what key are you in? Sublime. Are you in a key? No, you I, don't need, I don't need my keys. You don't need keys. No, no, it's just a bit of wood. No. Um, and a bit of string. Yeah. And, and you hold it up. It's a wooden triangle, is it? No, 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 no. Yeah. That's that. That's <laughs> that's metal. It's just metal, oh, okay. metal tubing. Yeah. Um, all the all the normal stuff. You hit it with a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. I think I basically do it quite traditionally, but I've never, uh -huh. as I say, because I haven't played it to anyone, <laughs> another musician. I don't know if I'm if I'm doing it right. Yeah. But. It, Ding. Well, I'm sure he's got a book on it somewhere. I'll see if I can dig it out. I'll have a look. Yeah. But I might not need to bother because I I've it's got my head around it now, I think. Wow. It's got see? three sides, effectively. Mm. Um, and I've got a bit of wood. Well, there's. I don't take this the wrong way at all. All right, no, no, no. No, because arrogance is a really big trait in good musicians. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of good musicians start out thinking, I can do this, it's easy, I don't yeah. need to read a book. Yeah, well, that was what I thought. Yeah. How, compli well, how complicated go. can it be? No, so, well, I think you could probably go I know what way. a triangle is. So I a lot know. of people would assume that it's going to be really hard and they don't go out and spend yeah. a fortune on the book. 
Well, but yeah, you, I mean, thinking you don't even want to borrow the book. I did wonder. I thought, Christ, well, I'm not Pythagoras. I, think you I don't know if I... Maybe only he can play this. <laughs> Truly understanding it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll have a go. Oh, well. I spent my, yeah, okay, I'll do that. I'll, we'll, we'll come down when you're next playing your guitar. Wing I'll it. get the triangle just out. Wing, just wing it. I'll do, I'll do it once. Do I'll, it I'll, gently I'll so no one once. hears. No one will know if you make a mistake. Oh, quite mm. vigorous. Unless you're on your own in the street. Mm. Which might be an idea. Can you... Um, can you dribble at the same time? I can, I can dribble while I'm doing anything. Can you? Yeah. All right, you can, mate, if you stood on uh, Red Square on a Saturday, playing the triangle and dribbling with a hat... Yeah. ...at the bottom, you'd make a lot of money. Okay. With yeah. you, especially if you let your hair down yeah, like that. Yeah, I'd love that, wouldn't and I? And put your glasses on upside down. Mm-hmm. Maybe can you turn? Can you turn your beard upside down? I think one. It's exciting, <laughs> uh, like some sort of a world tour. Yeah. But I think one step at a time. Yeah. I'll come round here. Yeah. I'll, I'll ding you, for you. I'll lend you my leather chair as well. If you're sitting on that in Red Square, dribbling, playing the triangle. Mm. Well, I've got a silly hat as well. Have you got a silly hat? A senior hat. A silly hat, or, or a senior hat. I think we're onto a winner there, John. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready yet. Really? I, 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 haven't, I haven't played it for weeks, Art. Oh, don't worry um, about the triangle. Okay. Just concentrate on the dribbling. Well, I'll get... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. The dribbling. I'll be there. I'll look after right. you. Yeah, just make sure I'm dribbling. I'll squeeze your knee every now and again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Right. I didn't... Yeah, I didn't know. Maybe it's a really respected instrument. I think you'd be surprised. I used to yeah. um, used to bash the big um, timpani drums about when I went to the console. Yeah. Um, but they didn't like being dribbled on. No. No. Very few instruments they, are out for that, are they? Do they own their own timpani drums than theatres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah. Do. And people bring their own in. Depends what they want, but yeah. Wow. Yeah, they own loads of instruments. Would you not? Would you? Would you not really get anywhere if you were a theatre company without timpani drums? Um, bom, bom, bom. Uh, yeah, yeah, you'd get, you'd get people... right. Yeah, just, just fit the wheels. Fit those two wheels. That's what's so good about timpani drums, isn't it? Is moving them round. Mm. This is my. I can't. <laughs> it's, it, it is possible that. I think I'm all right. I think I'm good on a triangle, but it is possible I'm not very good mm. and when. And, We'll wait and see, mm. but I'm very good at moving instruments around. And the timpani drum, it's got one little stand mm. with this little, sort of little weird mechanical wah wah pedal. I don't know what they do with that. But then mm. just two front wheels, and you okay. just lift it up on the wheels. <laughs> oh, they're great fun to move around. Oh, right. okay. Move into position. Excellent. Could yeah. you move those underwater? Were they like really? If I had to. Yeah. Uh, no, a, I, don't work in, I don't work in theatre anymore, but back in the day, we had, and we did, we'd have done anything. You could get those out in a rush yeah. if there was a flood. The show must go on. Any, right. yeah, anything could be achieved, even at points where, where there was just catastrophe going on around you. You think, oh well. So I was, we went to Theatre 7 um, to watch the pantomime at Christmas. Yep. And, um, and that was I can't even remember what, what it was we were watching, but I spent the whole thing just, well, I wrote down a list of all the reasons, um, or all the things get, that could go horribly wrong if there was a flood. By starting from the carpet getting wet, to, um, well, varying levels of steps getting wet. Yeah. Obviously, depending on how much of it flooded. Yeah. And then I thought, well, some of the plug sockets are quite low down there. Yeah, they're going to go early. They're going to get wet. Yeah. So they probably need to they co get cover those up. They, well, they get excitable, don't they? Yeah. They really do get excitable. And uh, um, I did notice the orchestra pit. Yeah. And I thought, well, that's just going to fill up. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, I, well yeah, orchestra pit is dangerous. They should get paid extra. I know a guy. They should get paid flood money. In, th in theatre who fell into an orchestra pit and broke his leg. Really? He was just, hold he was just holding up. Was he on stage? He was he holding up a piece of staging. <laughs> we were right. just, I wasn't working that day, but I knew the guy. <laughs> he was just holding up a bit of staging and just slipped to the orchestra pit, which had been lowered. So yeah. it was a good eight foot probably drop. Bang, mm. right to the bottom. Yeah. 
Christ, they're dangerous places. You just reminded me of a story that, about my father again. Um, giving someone, he was helping someone into a parking space. They were gonna, they were trying to park between a car and a wall. There was a gap. So dad, he didn't know him. He was walking down the road, and this person, I think it was a woman, was backing in, and dad was going, "Come on, come on, back a bit, back a bit, back a bit, bang." <laughs> Okay! <laughs> and walked off. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that was a yeah, end of a pissed up Sunday afternoon. <laughs> was it a woman? Mm, I think, yeah, I, think it was it was I don't know, he's not around to ask him. The collision anymore. might have mm. been inevitable anyway. <laughs> he was a bugger like that though. Yeah. So, I only put acid jazz on the agenda because mm. I thought, there's a question mark on it, I thought, you might say, John, do you want to listen to some acid jazz? I go, oh yeah, but no, I you haven't got uh, the well, internet. Well, I've got the CD player. But acid jazz, you got, got a bit of cool droid for me. Cool droid? Yeah. Cool droid and the clingers. Yeah. Uh, just clingers, if you like. I haven't, I haven't got any clingers. I've got some, uh, I've got some underground... Stuff. Some underground stuff on. Um. What do we have to go? You got a sailor? Uh, I can bring it up here. Yeah, uh, like. No, I don't want to really try. No, 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 I don't want to cause trouble. I don't, hmm. don't want to get diggers in. And do you want overground stuff then? Um. On the ground stuff. Um, one a little bit free. A little bit higher than the ground. Yeah, yeah, a good bit. Uh, uh what sort of height? Um, about six inches. Yeah, about six inches. Okay. About six inches off the ground music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, before that, though, um, I've got. Oops. Excuse my right. Mm. Questions from lyrics. Who's the guy who went. Well, who won't. Who won't cop out when there's danger all about? That's What's that from? Isaac Hayes, Shaft. Okay. Soundtrack. Right, I don't know, I don't know. Who did he yeah, he's the know? guy. Who's the guy when, what, that won't we'll cop out? out when, I tell you who it is. Yeah. Jimmy Files. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it was danger. It must have been a lot of danger about because if he had had have missed and hadn't shot the president, mm -hmm. his, his cachet yeah. is not worth much. That's true. But Although, he, lucky, lucky Jimmy, mm. he was a crack shot, he was. and he and shot the leader of the free world right through the head. And he said that um, another guy had already shot him just before, didn't he? he so was, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. No, nah. he just. He was told down. to take the fatal shot if the other guy missed, and the other guy missed a couple of times. Yeah. So he took the fatal shot. And just as he was squeezing the trigger, the other guy shot uh, through, the, through the float, didn't he? So he was just there. So, so he, he was just there. He might have died, he, he might not have done. He was just there in the parade. But he did the right thing, he did shoot him in the head. Yeah. Because he, he was, was told. Well, he was he close, was, wasn't he? I mean, he only just gone there to see the parade. Mm. And then he likes his guns, so it fair enough. He's free in that country. Too many vitamins, I know, um, in the morning. Add a load of vitamins in the morning. Oh, God, the president's getting shot on instinct. I'm gonna have a go. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and shot him through the head. And shot him through the head and thought. Just off excitement shit. and vitamins. I'd better go. I'd better go. I don't want to hang around. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> and then, well, didn't he escape on a speedboat? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. From Texas. Yeah. yeah. He just. He just. He down, just the, down the railway line. Bang down the railway line. Yeah. No one saw that coming, did they? Ooh. <laughs> don't know, don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, he's a very clever man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shame. Bloody shame, yeah. really. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so that's sorted out. He's the guy that got out. Well. Um, James, of all the men that I've seen, I like, mm. I, I, I like his hair the most. Uh, who, sorry? Jimmy Files. Jimmy Files. <laughs> 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 Is it grey, swept back? Yeah, it's a bit like yeah. yours, but white. 
Mm. Yeah, no, I like it's good. it. I like, yeah. But it's beautifully styled. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a stylish man. I mean, that, that <laughs> particular penitentiary does give meticulous attention to all the hair. Yeah. Within it. Oh, uh, when my uncle went to hospital, they, mm. they cut his beard. They cut his beard? They cut his hair, yeah. Didn't they ask? Did they ask him? Yeah. Did they no. need to get to his chin? He, I, I don't know how, how, how lucid. Yeah. It was, Were they it? operating on his chin at the time? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's right, it's bang out of order, isn't it? <laughs> You've been getting really long, really appalling condition, worse each time yeah. I saw him. They took that away from him. It's nice to didn't see that. Do you think if ever he Jesus. does need an operation on his chin, they'll shave his pubes? <laughs> <laughs> Just to, might do. just to be yeah. consistent. Yeah, I don't think it might be. I don't know. Nice, but, <coughs> it sounds like I'm assuming he was being operated on his nether region. No, no, no. <coughs> I just couldn't think of anywhere else that you'd shave. <coughs> no, mm. they've, no, they weren't operating on him, no. Have you got a hair I in mean, knees? Have I? Mm. Uh, I mean, not just on their own. I mean, do, do hairs grow on your knees? Not that much. I'm not that hairy. I mm. mean, I'm, I'm hairy where I should be. Yeah. But otherwise, but like your knees are my right. arms and stuff, no, I'm not very hairy. Mm. I've got little beards on my knees. Have you? Mm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> they're, um, they're quite well shaved beards. Did you... but, um, I've got quite hairy legs. You don't have to do this. Well, this one is anyway. The other one's not, not too hairy, actually. Yeah. But, um, little beard there. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm quite hopeless, really, look. Scattered, I bet you're fast, aren't you? Scattered out, crop. Yeah, I'm good in the water, yeah. You know. Straight through. Yeah. Like a, like a knife. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're like a, uh, a Bigfoot in the local leisure centre. I am. I'm like, I'm like Bailey's on a, on a car park slope. <laughs> Going nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, just stuck. <laughs> What is the degrees you need to get a Bailey's at to actually get it? Oh, probably a two-two. Yeah. I would have thought. Shoot it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it up. Yeah, shoot it out of a gun. Yeah. 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 Well, okay, we're well, we solving things at a rate of knots. We are. We're putting the world right uh, to right. Anna burst in. Did she? With oh. yeah. <laughs> but she reassembled really quickly. Yeah. Fine. Uh, and. She also asked on the questions from lyrics. Why do... I don't know what that says, because there's a wire in the way. Oh, yeah. Why do birds suddenly appear? Why do birds suddenly appear? That's a good question. Very good question. She, yeah, she's quite clever like that, yeah. yeah. Has she got an answer? Or is she, uh, no, she's... Is like, that why she wrote it? Yeah, she no, wrote. yeah, she wasn't sure. I suppose you don't really ask yourself questions you already know the answer to, do you? Much. No. no. I, I, no every, I'm not having said that. Every day I wake up and think, why is the post office down there? Yeah. You need to open a why post office. Why is it office. up there? It's always down there. You'd, you'd run a great post office, Arthur. You keep, you well, keep no, I keep people on their toes. I'd shift it about a bit. Yeah? Yeah. Move the stock around. No, move the shop around. Physically. Just don't always have it there. Number 28. Have it. Have it the other end of the village. For a bit. Your room's cleared out. This could be a shop. How much trouble are you in if you just hang a post no, you're office me ideas outside now. your house? Where would people park? <laughs> upstairs? Uh, I could, we've got an, an empty room upstairs. People can car park in, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, clear it out. Yeah. I've got a load Point of... Them up there. My mum's got a load of curtains. We could make a ramp. Yeah, send them up there. Yeah. Fire them up. Yeah. Park them on your back garden. Absolutely. Oh, just do what they do at the <coughs> local shop here, and just everyone just park on the road. Yeah. yeah just clag, clag everything up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, outrageous. Either that, either, oh, it is quite a big room, so I was thinking of converting it into a really small leisure centre. What do you think? I have a squash court in that corner there, where the mirror is. Yep. Um, I was thinking tennis courts next to that, do you think, between the mirror and the jug? Where you put in your table tennis. Ooh. I don't know. I haven't thought of the table tennis. No. What about um, a confectionery machine? Where's that going? Oh, oh God. Yeah. I haven't thought of this through. Uh, Clicks coffee. Yeah. Machine. And the staff. I have to put them somewhere. Uh, yeah. Well, just 
what do they do at leisure centres anyway? They eat biscuits, don't they? Loiter around, don't they? Talking so of biscuits, do that. where's your mum's biscuits? I don't know. Yeah, they went out to the kitchen, I think. Can we just go oh, again? No, I think they're on the table. I seem to remember. Oh, sorry. I seem to remember being on the table. No, did they go to the kitchen? Where's the frigging. They buy the chainsaw. There's two children that are um, stuck on some barbed wire down by uh, Belmont Lane. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're and, still uh, there. We're, the whole village has chipped in to look after them and we're, we're, no, I haven't. we're, we're protecting their team. No, I haven't. I just oh, said, don't worry about snip, it. No, snip we're, them down. What are you doing? We've Get got it all covered it. now. We've got uh, the Jenkins family from uh, over the road there. They're looking after the feet. Yeah. And okay. we're, we're looking after the teeth. Right. These are lovely. Mm. But with the mop, I used to mop wide corridors, and you can't. Wide it's really corridors. Good, wide, wide wire corridors. I oh. do the floor, mm. and you got to do this sort of movement, like you're a giant mixer. And I thought I could do a fucking keep fit video to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mops and really yeah. stretch yourself out with a mop. Yeah, yeah. It's a good self-defense weapon. If you cover a mop in Dettol. Mm. And, a, and you put it into the assailant's face. Yes. And you, you spin it around and around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, are, they are very uh, you dizzy them with that. Especially if they're giants. Yeah. I want to see you um, mess some giants up with a mop. That's what I'd like to see. They're covered in Dettol. Yeah. They won't be used to it, will they? Big, really big fellas. Ah, big fellas. Yeah. You know, it's like those big Russian boxers. Cool, wow. Imagine now you're talking. putting a big flannel in their face. <sighs> Whipping them with a flannel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Arthur. I think you, you, if, you, if you're stuck in a fantasy <coughs> of Russian, <coughs> terrifying Russian boxes, <coughs> you've got to do whatever they want to do, haven't they? <coughs> Vitamin gone down the wrong way. Yeah. It was a large one, though, wasn't it? It was, not it? Not enough hats. Vicky mm. Gervais. Not a big hat user. He doesn't wear enough hats. It's oh. his problem. What's your favourite type of hat? Fedora. Mmm. Have <coughs> you? <coughs> riding hat. Yeah. Yeah, full skull cap. Safer. For when you're riding or just generally? Just generally, yeah. Yeah. I never used to it wear them you. when I was riding. I must say it suits you. I always know it's you when I see you driving <laughs> yeah. fast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I want to be safe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Do the chin strap up real tight. Yeah. Make sure I'm super, super, super safe. Yeah. But, of course, you can't see when I'm driving past because I know, I know how high your windows are and I'm not silly. Yeah. But, apart from the hat, yeah. I'm naked. Yeah, oh, right. I'm completely yeah. naked. Oh. Well, put the Even heat... when you go swimming? Mm, yeah, put the heated seat on. The car on the way in. I'm, I'm lovely and warm. Yeah. I feel good walking. This time of year, well, today's a bad day. I wouldn't go to the swimming pool because by the time I get from the car to the pool, I'm all, oh, well, it's looking cold and weird and shriveled up. But high summertime, I get out of that car yeah. with the heat seat on, sweating my bollocks off by then, to be yeah. honest. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's covered in sweat. We've riding that on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exasperated by heat. Yeah. But sometimes I get out of the car naked and I walk to the leisure centre and I, oh, I think I look alright. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so you, do you catch yourself in the reflection of the, of the window. In the mirror, I'll oh, make sure. As you go get the reception. Yeah. 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 Have, a look. Have a lick on the window. That's it. That's my pass. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Ding. <Yeah. laughs> and then I just walk straight in. I jump over the little thing that you walk through to wash your feet or whatever that, yeah. that thing is yeah. I don't get involved in that oh that's only for and the uh, just... that's only for the people on benefits oh ok yeah ok yeah. Um, and I'd stand by the pool then just have a big piss mm. in the water yeah I'd jump in that's it have yeah. a little swim about yeah go out do you get shouted at for doing that for weeing in the pool I'm always getting shouted at yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it just blends in. No, it's the same as everyone else. We go naked. Yeah. You get shouted at. Oh, I so, see. Yeah, no, there's no getting <coughs> out of that. I suppose you just sort of start filtering it out, don't you? 
Well, yeah, you, get, you do. When yeah. people start yelling things like, don't do this, don't do that, it just blends in with the general... Yeah, please. ...being, you know, shouted at. I'm calling the police. Yeah, or is that... A, yeah, you don't I'm in the ten items or less count. I don't think I am going to be out in a minute. You're going to make all fuss mm. by just not letting me pay yeah, up. Yeah, more trouble than it's worth. Yeah. But yeah. I do... Yeah, just, it's, it's tough not to... Just let me... Tough not to go around cupping the scrotum when it's just there. Yeah. Wattling around from side to side. And do you often have to say, look, it, it, look, here's a pound, and throw the pound at them and just run out with the wipes? <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and... I mean, that's not dignified art, is it? Uh, I suppose um, not. Q I'm like always, everyone else. I'm always... I mean, I'm like Star Trek. I'm... S- Seeking new new forms of dignity, yeah. and you know, and it's yeah. uncharted territory. But which part, Spock or Kirk? Uh, which which part of their uncharted territory? Mm. Um, no, I mean which part of what was it you were talking about? Of uh, Star Trek, I'm like um, no you, I'm, dig- dignity. You, you were talking about Star Trek's dignity. I mean, just the whole general Star Trek and dignity. Indignity. Star Trek indignity. Indignity. Yeah. Oh right. Okay. No. 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 That's their. No. I don't go in that ship. No. In the dignity ship. No. No. It's all naked. They're all. um, They're all liars anyway on that ship. One of my brothers said years ago he thought it'd be a good idea if once a year everyone had to go around naked. Go around where? Everywhere. And I don't know if it's a good (coughs) idea, but I think. It, we should try it for a couple of years and see if we get comfortable with well, it. Well, why don't we start tomorrow with uh, Mavis over the road? You go round about... What time do you get up? Uh, well, I'll get up any time to go and whip someone's clothes off. No, well, start with that. Mavis over the road. Wait till Vernon's gone out. Yeah. He goes out about half eight. Slink in through the letterbox. Slink in through the letterbox. And then, yeah, be naked... Yeah. See what she does. Let her get used to you a little bit. She might, on instinct, she might go, yeah, you're right. And, and disrobe. whip her stockings down. Disrobe. Yeah. I don't think she wears stockings anymore. She's 86. Oh, sorry, it's stockings, I meant, right. yeah, suspenders. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we could use charity begins at home, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, you do that first thing, and, uh, and I'll pop round about 11 o'clock. In fact, and by mid like midday, she'll be so, she'll be expecting people to go around naked, and then that but and then the next day that will spread. It'll get all round, get around the church group, and we can start get slowly visiting group. all the members of the village. Start getting them naked. Once we've done this village, we can move to the next village. Well, I think I think we need to mong with them. Mong? Like, mong with them. <laughs> we need to mong with them. <laughs> yeah, we, Don't let them mong they're, alone. <laughs> once, they're, once they're all naked, yeah. we need to start going fully clothed again. Oh, right. And start... Oh, yeah. oh my God. Leave them to it. Put that away. Where's your fucking dignity? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You absolute <coughs> fucking trollop. <laughs> Get a Mac yeah. on. Get out of my sight. You are revolting. Do you think we can... Inco- while we're in the naked phase, do you think we can encourage them to get tattoos as well? Yeah, get yeah their we'll, breasts we'll, tattooed. we'll we'll just um, get a, uh, a bio out. Yeah, you know, pretend we've done it. And just do some we'll do henna and get them. Yeah, and get them fully booked up. Yeah, <laughs> and then we'll just wash ourselves off. So we could, you you're can never getting into heaven like that. God is going to see you, and he's going to think you look a disgrace. Mm. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to make it. Um, have um, things in it that everyone from Oswestry is going to recognise. Just little little names of um, either well, not people, but maybe um, small no, small no, monoliths, um, sections of uh, society in um, fiberglass form. God. We could call, give those names. Very futuristic vision of Oswald Street that you've got. Yeah. Cafes. I've only just got a fucking Argos. Fiberglass cafes, I'm thinking. Uh, perhaps. No. They've just 
pledged nearly a million pounds for a new theatre in Oswald Street. Did you hear that? What? Yeah. I don't know, unless I was uh, reading but the wrong paper. When you say theatre, like, do you mean... I cinema? mean, like, theatre. They're going to build a theatre in Oswald Street. Right. Oh. I wonder if they're going to build it next to that building that they built, like, four years ago that they don't use anymore. What are they going to yeah, do? Yeah, you don't want to fill that up now. You want to get a contract in for a new build. You, yeah. Done that building now. I've done that one. Yeah, don't... Yeah. There's... We don't fill them up as well. That's what people have to do. Uh, yeah, all the lawyers have had the money for that now. They need, we need new benches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need fresh bases. Yeah. To leave. I don't know. I probably that it's filled with a a, a H and M. Is it H and M? What is that like spanking and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's not yeah. quite as hardcore. No. It's no. more H. It's more in the H key. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like um, I like spanking uh, old yeah um, church memorabilia. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know you're a Christian. I've just realised you're a Christian, so that might sound yeah, that's offensive. That's right, that's But uh, <clears throat> no, I do. Uh, and I don't do it on a Sunday. I I, don't, I wait till everyone's gone. Oh well, right, you're missing out. Because oh really? Is that what it's all about? If you're going around banging church memorabilia, Spring. everyone's down there on a Sunday. Oh really? What have you been doing that for? Oh god. Oh, did the Reverend not tell you? Mm. Yeah, buggers like that, mate. No, that's when they go whacking everything on oh. Sunday. But don't go down on a Sunday because it's a, it's a bloody racket. I've been doing it since I was about thirteen. I used to wake up in the middle of the night with an erection. Yeah. And run straight to the chapel. Yeah. And start spanking all the all the. Uh, and that, that, did that sort of out? The candles. Yeah. I used to... Yeah, I, used um, to I used to have quite a good time. Yeah? I'd spend a good half hour there and I'd do it until my, my palms were sore. Mm-hmm. Blistered. Yeah, and then I'd, uh, I'd run home, have some Weetabix and go back to bed. It's a good night, isn't it? Mm. I used Fantastic to have some good man. nights um, meditating. Sometimes it made me really horny. Mm. Really, really, really horny, and I felt really, uh, you know, I felt really calm, really spaced out, and really, really horny. Mm. Meditating. So, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. sure it's meditating, or uh, are you, were you thinking, were you thinking <laughs> of naked women? Uh, just, <laughs> just, you know, just sort of general, yeah. uh, widespread broadcast sort of randiness, like. Um, I wonder what you're going to say then. Yeah, I. The, the, I don't know, maybe it was the springtime and there's on heat. You heat up a lot when you meditate as well. You get yeah. really, really hot to chuck clothing off. Maybe that's well, it. What? You start chucking it off and your body's thinking, oh, hello, he's heating up. Bow, now, now. And, um, yeah, I don't, it sounds, that sounds odd explaining it, but uh, in the moment it was, it was dead nice. Well, from, from, yeah, it does sound a little bit like you were just sort of but no, I don't sat understand. cross-legged. Yeah. With your eyes shut, thinking about something that was making you horny, rather than meditating. If, oh, I don't know. Well, does being sat with your legs crossed, with your eyes closed, mean that you are meditating? Thinking no about what Buddha, thinking. getting horny. Oh, is it? Do you have to think about Buddha? No, no, you don't. No, no, oh, you right, don't. okay. No, no. Mind you, it's Buddha's got a yeah. look, isn't he? Yeah. Buddha's got a little twinkle yeah. in his eye. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Um, if I was gay, I'd uh, I'd seriously think about. Uh, about having Buddha around for a cup of tea. I think uh, I think if some you're of gay, your, some of you want to think more about Ganesh because he's got the uh, trunk. Is he? Yeah, oh, and, the, oh, and yeah. the fucking tusks. Imagine me. Oh, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not saying that Buddha isn't well endowed. Mm. And you know, is he essentially an elephant then, Ganesh? Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh okay. God, yeah, he'd, he would. He'd have fun with you. Do you think he'd mind if I called him Dumbo? Uh, so I could remember. I don't think he'd mind. I don't think he'd be listening because he looks quite intense. Oh right. And some of the some of the uh, Instagrams of him. He sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so no, hang on, I'm not gay, am I? So yeah, that's that is well, that is a problem with, with with meditating. It will chill you out, but it will make you randy. It's not a. Mm. It's not a. It's not a cure for. Actually, for celibacy. No. A lot, of, a lot of monks are celibate, aren't they? They must be unbelievably randy. I don't, yeah. 
<laughs> Maybe yeah. I just wasn't doing it right. I, I did. I did meditate once and think about being a, a daffodil for hours and hours a night. I didn't really work. felt no, 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 right. no, no, no. It was no. It's good. No, it's good day. Mind you, I don't know what you looked like before. Maybe you look yeah. slightly more daffodilly now than you did. I went into my daffodil. You do look a bit more daffodilly now. Uh, I'm drawing it out. Ooh. But then when I opened my eyes, it was gone. Ah oh, shit! And I enjoyed it for a little while. Yeah. And I couldn't get it back. It wasn't tantric. No, next time I did it, yeah. I was turned into a primrose. Oh, God. Yeah. And that's that's the last that. thing you want. Well, that's all right. But I'm working my way through. I'm hoping if by a few years' time, I'll, I'll have mastered it to the point where I can turn into a dahlia at will. Lovely. Yeah. And stay in that form until about November, until yeah. the first frosts come and take yeah. me down. Well, it was, he was the ultimate... One wasn't he for Dahlia. Yeah. He wasn't bad. The, the Dahlia. Yeah, no, he believe was good. He was sort of king. The, or was it the Dahlia's the Dahlia Mar? The Dahlia Mar. The Dahlia Mar. No, it's a hybrid. Is it? Yeah, it's a hybrid <coughs> From Tibet. Yeah, though they don't last very well. Nah, oh. they're right, maybe they're right in Tibet because they like that <coughs> stony soil. Right, I don't really have to talk soil. Really. Very good at balancing the Dalai Lama. He could climb a cliff. In about four seconds. Well, you just levitated. Mm. Is that what it was? Yeah. Ah, cheat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, hmm. yeah, they are. <laughs> I thought you just had hooves. No, no, it's just, just they're, they're good at levitating. Mm. <laughs> so look out, look out, you don't get too roundy when you start meditating. Especially if he's around. Yeah. Don't like that, man. Oh, oh, I imagine he's a roundy like little man, isn't he? Floating around the back of you. Yeah. I bet it's he's one of the randiest, randiest men on the planet, the, 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 the Randy Mom. Randy yeah, that's why, that's why he meditates so much. Mm. I don't know. You know funny things drip, it drop into your mind when, you, yeah. when you're well away. Mm. It's, it's lovely. But you, you might find yourself having a wank at any, mm. any possible moment that can sort of that can break the moment. Right. But for that very, That's his influence. for that very brief moment, yeah. just before you come, you feel very, very enlightened. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. And then it's gone. I wonder if you could like solve some really complicated maths problems. Well, moment. yeah, you know, Alistair Crowley focused. and all the sex magic around that that euphoric yeah. moment of enlightenment. Yeah, back oh, in, back into lost it. Fiddling again. Bring another one in. I need to. I need to find it again. Yeah. All day long. Very determined. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure about Alistair Crowley. I always thought he had um, too many, too many things in his cupboards. Yeah, Crowley sounds like. Sounds like. Some, sounds like a traitor. Sounds like a brick he would use. Oh, it sounds like a bricky sort of trade term, Crowley. It may be uh, some sort of um, tool that yeah, they would tool. use. The Crowley. Pass us the Crowley, will you? Yeah, no, I can't. He's fucking people again over there. He's trying to, yeah. he's trying to get enlightenment. Jesus. Spunking yeah. into the mortar. Maybe that's why it all stuck so well. Yeah. Yeah. Crowley sounds like someone that. I can't walk properly. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a Crowley. Yeah. Oh, is he? Oh, fucking hell, when did he get that? Poor oh, man. It was alright. Mm, he's got Crowley syndrome. Oh, he's alright. He's just fucked people to the point that his legs don't work oh, anymore. Yeah. He needs to calm down. He needs to fuck. If he fucked people of normal height, he wouldn't have to keep bending his knees and he'd be alright. He could yeah. walk properly. It's arthritis. Yeah. Rasputin. That's it. Yeah, the ultimate fucker, wouldn't he? He had um, he had a bad neck, didn't he? That's beautiful. Tell me more. Well, it, his brother told him quite early on, but a little bit too late. When you're being Rogered, don't French kiss. Don't French kiss with Roger. Yeah, when you're being Rogered. Okay. And he ignored that. And he subsequently fucked his neck up. Oh Christ! Vigorously French yeah. kissing. Yeah. Mm. Um, from when you when you when you're being drilled from behind. Mm. 
Uh-huh. You need to you need to have your head down. Brace. Mm. Um, in my case, something to bite on. Yeah. Something hard, like a piece of wood. Or Twix. Or Twix. Mmm, Twix, probably. With a wrapper on, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but, no, I'd rather not be Roger from behind. But And if I was being Roger from behind, the last thing I'd do is kiss someone that was Rogering me. Yeah. For the sake of my neck. Yeah. If I had a sister called G Govinda, I'd, I'd be a, I'd, I'd be a right mess. I wouldn't. I'd, I'd be like, well, what, how has this happened? Yeah. Because wow. I, I didn't, I didn't have a sister called Govinda before. Mm. And you're not Indian, are? I'm not Indian. No, and I don't really know any Indians. So it'd be really freaky. If you had to pit. Native American Indians, mm. Indians against Indians. Who's the more from in India? Yeah, yeah. Um, Naked. Oh yeah. God. No, I just mean so. There's no. <sighs> If they yeah, they've got you weapons. Know you're safe with me, aren't you? No, no, but no. Always naked. My, my thought process on that was if they're allowed weapons, well, then the Indians are probably going to be a bit more advanced, aren't they, than the native. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, he's the more Indian. So if you get them naked, then it's fair. Whatever happens. Do they. Is there a dislike that they share that name? Is there a. I don't know. Let, let them Indian fight it out. But why not let them well, fight it out? I don't know. How would you have them fight it out? Intellectually? No, tell them. You're Scrap fighting for your name here. Who's the Indian? Who's an Me. Indian? Right. Well, come on, which one of you's an Indian? Fight it. Out. Get, get no. in the pit. Get in the pit and fight fight it out. Would you rather see them fight? Would you rather see But you say to them, Bring me the testicles of a non Indian. Yeah. That's what you say to them. Mm. And then leave them to it. Go you can go back and sit in your tent. Yeah. Someone comes up with a mozzarella ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always slightly tentative about slicing into mozzarella. Yeah. And yeah, interested at the same time. In case someone's had an Indian's bollock off. I don't know, yeah, where could this have come from? Yeah. This came, oh god, yeah. Yeah. This came mm. from Tesco, it's just good. Oh. It could just be bleached anything. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Yeah. What do I do with this? Uh, Put it in there. Pop it in there. <laughs> oh dear. Right. What time are the potatoes going to be ready? Oh, well, they're in. Are they? They've gone in, so you know what potatoes are like. Yeah. Like another yeah. 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Full, <laughs> full gas. Do you wrap your potatoes in things? Yeah, cling film. <laughs> loads and loads of cling film. Wrap them tight. Yeah. Like 20 loads of cling. <laughs> Yeah. Tobacco. Yeah. Nice and warm in here, isn't it? Yeah. It's time. Mm. And it's half ten. Is it? Definitely need uh, some. Hedgehog's hungry. Definitely need some wall. <coughs> wall art. Yeah. Well, I could bring a hedgehog in for a couple of days. <laughs> let yeah, but wall. let it shit Prode all up the wall. Projectile <laughs> shit all over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. I've always wanted to do that. So a bit of cling film and cheese within each layer of cling film. Oh, lovely. Mm. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> to keep putting layers on though, you got yeah. to, you got to mean it because it keeps coming off. Yeah. You have to keep taking it out and putting it back in again when you layers on. Yeah. yeah. Every time I come back to it, it's all melted off and it's just on the bottom. So Wouldn't put another it? layer on. And if you give you really tenacious. There'll be no plastic when you come to eat it, but there'll be that fake background smell and taste of, of plastic. It'd be too much trouble to go to in a restaurant, really, would it? You'd well, you just balance it out with a bit of chili con carne. And reflect it in the price, you'd have to charge about 40 quid. Yeah, yeah for the amount of plastics you're getting through. You mm. should try it with some of your mirror sheeting. Mm. I could try, maybe I could try selling my mirror sheeting with a potato wrapped in it. Why don't you wrap your house in mirror sheeting? Look how reflective I, I have I wrapped am. my shed in it. Get some stuff. Did you see that? <laughs> no, bro. I, no. It was, it was wrapped in mirror cheating for about a month. 
Was it nice? No. Glare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was all um, <laughs> all crinkly. Well, not crinkly, but crooked. So it didn't look like a mirror. It just looked like someone put, someone put some shit mirror on a shed. <laughs> <laughs> Which wasn't the good look I was intending. Oh, my word. What are these? Don't ask. Look at giraffes. Jesus. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put that back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go outside that. You see the wipes next to it? Yeah. Well, they're all gone. Yeah. But I can see there's an empty box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe after that. I don't think I'd get away with that. Funny enough, why? I went too far with the owl thing when I walked up to them the first time. I was going out on the owl and the fellow, the, the, the guys out there started, they just turned around and I just walked away with the owl delivery. <laughs> 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 oh, it's alright, mate, it's ruining that. <laughs> 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 yes! I, I, I have to say, Still recording, is it? I'll come through it. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off now. So yeah. I'll give it some silence. 